Cheetahs are beautiful and speedy. There once were more than 100,000 cheetahs living in Africa and Asia. Today, only about 10,000 of the animals remain. Lori Marker is working to keep cheetahs from disappearing. I started working with cheetahs when I lived in Oregon and I ran a wildlife park there. And this was back in the early 70s and nobody knew anything about cheetahs and I was fascinated about them. And the more people I asked, they said, when you find out something about cheetahs, let us know. They don't do well in captivity, they have a very short lifespan, and we're losing them throughout their ranges in the world. So that just made me fascinated and I wanted to know everything there was about them. Dr. Marker traveled to Namibia to learn more about cheetahs. The country has the world's largest wild cheetah population. Understanding about how the cheetah lives is really important. So understanding its biology and its behavior, uh, understanding the ecology of it, which really revolves around where it's living and, and how it's living, and that interfaces with humans. In 1990, Dr. Marker created the Cheetah Conservation Fund, a nonprofit group based in Namibia. Farmers often kill cheetahs because they can attack cattle and other farm animals. So Dr. Marker started working with farmers to find ways to help protect their animals from the big cats. In 1994, she began telling farmers about the Anatolian Shepherd. This breed has been used for about 5,000 years to protect livestock from predators. And they act as a guardian by avoidance. They bark loudly, they tell a predator that they're there protecting the flock, and the flock will come around the dog, and by the dog barking, the predator doesn't want to get hurt, and they will then avoid those flocks where the dogs are. Over 15 years, the fund has donated more than 400 dogs to livestock farmers in Namibia. Since our time in Namibia, the population of cheetahs there was about 1,000 to 1,500 individuals. Today, it's probably 3,500, maybe 4,000 cheetahs. So we've been able to really grow the population. And that's out of a world population of about 10,000. Yes. Put these one in the water the farmers have reported up to an 80% decrease in farm animal deaths. You're such a good boy. Dr. Marker wants to expand the CCF programs to other countries where cheetahs once lived. If we are not successful, we're going to lose this amazing species in a very short period of time. I'm Mario Ritter.